what happens if um, we check out a document. So if we click the ellipsis and we say check this document out, notice we get this marker here that says the document's checked out. Now if I then go and edit this document and I just make a quick change and I save that up. Notice we moved that up to version 14. Also there's this column here that says checked out and this says, tells me that this document is checked out to me. Now when I go and check that document back in and I check that document back in, it's going to ask me okay you've checked the document back in do you want to make a comment um, and I check that back in now what we're going to get is that document then unchecks here and we add that that document in and you see that we get that comment here which is quite useful now if we drop back and we go and take a look at the version history here we notice that we get the comment in the version history which is really helpful if you've got a document where you've got lots and lots and lots of versions and you don't really know what changes have been made um, then then this is really helpful um, that, that to understand the context of the changes that have been made but you only get that you only get this comments if you check the document in and out so there are a number of other benefits to checking in and out documents. If you check out a document, nobody else can make a change to that document while you have it checked out. Now, this is a good thing and a bad thing. <clears throat> if you check that document out and then you go on holiday, you could have a problem because people can't um, edit that document. So if you go on holiday for two weeks, you've got a potential situation where the document can't be edited for two weeks. Now there is an, an override from a or from an administrative perspective where you can automatically check documents in and manage uh, checked out documents if you have to. So there is an override, but obviously someone would have to request that. The plus side of checking things out is, as I said, people can't people can't uh, make a change to what you've got checked out. And the other part of having a document checked out is that the changes that you make are private, only you can see those changes. So if you have documents that are sensitive, that shouldn't be shared, that you're making sensitive changes to, like a new HR policy as an example, and you don't want that information being shared with other people, check that document out and start making your changes. And that will ensure the changes that you're making are completely secure and private until you check that document back in. And we're going to talk a bit more now about some of the other functionality that's available here that then adds to that and enhances that.